Hello. Hi. 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 We're googling the Hello. most successful animated successful animated Disney films. Yeah, Rip Soko's wallet, dude. That's that's yeah. for damn sure. Soko. <laughs> How are you feeling, buddy? Welcome to the Discord, everyone. I am still sick as fuck, but we're here because consistency. Consistency is key. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have an announcement to make before we uh, start. As uh, announced previously, Dungeon D Select is now also available uh, on Spotify and Anchor. But since that announcement, we are now also available on Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Breaker, and we are on the way to Google Podcasts as well. I got the email oh, yeah. that's in the works as well. So uh, once Google Podcasts is done, that will be six platforms where you can listen to the audio version of Dungeon Select. So imagine you better actually do finds, it. Imagine someone finds Dungeon Select like through like the random recommended thing. <laughs> And like, and like, like oh, this is, is no, this is no. They're like, this is really cool. I can go tune in live. <laughs> these are not how I thought these people would look. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, dude, I fucking had a weird. I didn't sleep last night. Did a random morning stream. Went to bed. Woke up and I was like, dude, fuck it. I'm gonna order some food. Uh, paid for my order and then got twice the amount of food that I paid for. So that's fun. I have just a bunch of extra food now that is sitting. Hell here. yeah. Um, other than that, I'm excited for today's uh, little talk. We, we we got some things to discuss. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. A lot of questions got submitted uh, for this one as well, so uh, enjoy that. And of course, we're gonna do a little trivia quiz. We're gonna, we're gonna test, quiz. test your knowledge of the campaign so far without I, looking at your notes. I am going to get oh, the lowest score you have ever seen ever. so far there's seven questions every time and so far the leaderboard yeah. is laura and duke tied for first place with five correct answers okay five. beanie second okay. place with four correct answers has okay. bell not answered any sorry That's, has bell not been on and not answered mm -mm. Any? no i was oh. meant to be on oh yeah. you mean like me, you mean you mean like me <laughs> yeah like you exactly <laughs> yeah um, i was meant to be on and here we are here we are there yeah, we yeah. are <laughs> Together, Bell, we will get a score of zero. So well, look at us. Ethan is Good third. Four. I mean, Not I'd me. say tied for first and Ethan, Ethan is second. That sounds better, right? But okay, yeah, technically, he's, he's third in the on the leaderboard, as in as in like you know on the list. But technically, second place because the first two are tied for first. So fuck you. Yeah. Very good. He's the first place <clears throat> loser. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but after tonight, it's probably going to be Koiba. So we'll be fine. Hello, well, first place loser. <laughs> so I'm going to get overtake Ethan. Hell yeah. Six points. All right. So. <laughs> Before we uh, get going, hope everyone is doing well. It is officially the halfway point uh, of the week, you know, between Dungeon Select. Three more sleeps until the next session. Session seven is happening this Sunday. Too many. And um, last session was a fucking doozy. Let me tell you. Last session, you traveled accompanied by Siren, a Yuan-Ti uh, huntress, to Sekta. Infiltrated Sekta and confronted Rixal Jeremiah and their monstrosity, a Hydra, a five headed beast. It was a tough fight. Two of you went down, one of you almost died, got very close to dying. Um, but you survived. You did it. You leveled up. It got to pick your archetypes. No, lock that lock that selection in, and it's um, it's looking good because level three is probably one of the most important level ups that you can get in the D and D campaign because that's when you start getting your your first archetype stuff, which is baby's uh, first steps. Yeah, baby's first steps. Uh, uh you know, you, you can actually have more variety now than just Eldritch Blast or I shoot arrow or uh i cast healing word or you know what i mean there's actually some mm. some unique stuff i mean uh if anything i locked in i locked in me the other way around of <laughs> spiritual weapon exists oh, that's the spell <laughs> oh, i'm go. casting this uh, that's combat. It. there you go there you go that's all i need <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've spiritual got weapon. spiritual weapon i've got eldritch blast um also an announcement uh Casters. we are officially working on getting sub badges 
Um, yes. Contacted an artist. It's um, everybody seemed to be cool with that artist being the one chosen. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot her a DM tonight regarding prices and uh, design ideas that we have. That's gonna be exciting. But let's start today's uh, talk show, the show of the the, DN the Dungeon Select After Show, as we as we could say. Firstly, I want to just ask uh, both of you regarding last session, your first uh, like real boss fight. What are, your, what are your thoughts on, on last session? I'll start with you, Bill. That was terrifying. <laughs> like, the entire time I was really stressed out. Just trying to, like, figure out what the best play was. Because mm -hmm. I had Witch Bolt. And as soon as I cast it, I was like, cool, this is what I'm going to be doing for, like, the rest of this until it dies. Mm -hmm. And then Diagon started getting fucked up, and I was like, shit. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> but... Like, I really enjoyed it. It was real interesting having, like, three different enemies and one of them being, like, so massively terrifying. Yeah, and uh, what I really wanted to do was that, like, that boss fight, um, the Hydra was a big threat, but I, I, I definitely made it, wanted to make it so that the two other people in the room that you were fighting were equally as dangerous. Mm -hmm. And because of the way the party kind of split up and Daigon went off on her own, fighting the smaller two boys, uh, underestimating them a little bit, I think. Um, yeah. Caused some, uh, some problems, but you survived. You did it. Good job. Y'all walked out alive. What are your thoughts? What, you, what are your thoughts on the, uh, on the I fights? had a fucking Oops. panic attack the second fairy fire didn't work, and I was like, <laughs> right, let's go. Because, <laughs> like, if fairy fire... Because in my head, I was like, I can get the fairy fire off. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on that, get the fuck away from the Hydro, and then cast Sleep on the other two. Very fine, then doesn't work, and I'm like, fuck, because I was <laughs> concentrating on the other two. This was like my thing to be like, I'm helping you here, cool. And I was like, I can't move away from these people, because this Hydro is just fucking us up. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to get this dome on as many people as I can. So then, like, that was then my back, I was like, wow, I'll just dome then. Mm -hmm. And like... Because I thought, I was like, do I do that first turn? Like, that's a bit lame. Like, first turn doming. Like, I could do a lot. Like, I want to try more in combat rather than just be like, I use the dome and I cast secret thing and mm -hmm. just keep the spell. And then it got to the point where I was like, fuck it, I'll use another spell. And I was like, and then dying went down. I had no healing spells. I had nothing left. Like, I, I was tapped. And I was yeah. like, and then fucking Daphne went down. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, I've got a medicine check someone here. Like, that, because I didn't know how many potions we had. Because I wasn't going to be like, Guys, who's got healing Has potion? anyone got potion? We need a potion over mm -hmm. here. Yeah, <clears throat> but like, I wasn't going to do that before thingy, because that's not how Elazar is not going to like ask for potion. He's going to be like, this is how I can help. Yeah. His, like, his jump gun response. So like, yeah, man, I, I was, it was great. <laughs> I loved it. It, was, it loved it. I hate that my plans didn't work. Classic I mean, like that, spellcaster, uh, like the nature 101. Of the game, right? Yeah. I think that's the thing. I've got so, you know, where Duke had Ranger, I fire bow, that's my turn. After having like so much he could could do as a bard. And now I'm there like, I used to just run up and hit thing and like get angry. And that was my turn. Oh, now yeah. I'm like, I could fucking like, what spell have I got? Oh, God, <laughs> is this spell now? Am I going to like waste it? Because I what could. What modifier uh, do I use? Well, it's not even that. It's just like, do I keep a spell spare for, a, for like a healing word or like your yeah. wounds at all times? Or is that a waste? Like, am I on purpose like now nerfing myself? Because. I mean, to just nuke it down? Do I just nuke it? Like, Guiding Bolt, nuke it down and be over with? Like, what do I do? Uh, oh, God! <laughs> and uh, then it like, doesn't work, and it's then, then a waste of that spell slot. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was how that battle went for me. It's good. <laughs> uh, it sorry, was I fun mean, having, like, early play of really fear again. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. I have a, a couple questions. Oh, because, no. Koiba, you are the only one in the party that's kind of with on the inside of 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 duke's little like secret I... stuff all right and the other person here in the call bell is also involved in a lot of uh secrety stuff and i would like just i have i uh, was thinking how about you know i asked koiba what do you think what is your theory regarding daigon and kes their secrets and vice versa okay. like what and what does bell think Oh, okay. Davian slash, you know, what Koiba knows about the okay. secrets. Like, what, like, what, what theories do you have about each other's um, I mean, secret I'll, knowledge? 
Um, so I'll start with I'll start with Koiba. What, yeah. is, what is your, what is your um, theory regarding Kesselin and Daigens? Uh, I think uh, they definitely have some sort of shady past. In there is there is something they have done that is going on. You know, we've got these weirdly they did a deal and everything's fine now. You know, like with horse and carts, and it's just like, well, that could be fucking. It. You know, mm -hmm. from someone who follows Joaquin, that's like, well, that could be fucking anything. Great, <laughs> like. Like, as he's always saying, like, was it a fair trade? Like, was it worth the good? Did you get a good deal? Like, was it worth whatever you sacrificed? So they said yes. So Lazarin's a bit less like, can't be that sketchy. Like, we got horse and carts. Like, they're not the most expensive thing around. We did the yeah, math. they're expensive. Me and Luke did the math. Yeah. Two horses and a cart that size would in total yeah. be about like anywhere between 250 and 300 gold worth of goods. Which obviously is like, it's a lot for like people but like in nobility sense horse and car horse and car or like horse and carriage is to him he's like we have one like mm -hmm. okay so it's expect like he, he knows it's expensive but he's like it's not you know we've now got items on like a really powerful magic item or artifact um you know we haven't got like you know a massive amount of gold or gem or something you know, got, got, got like a thousand platinum or something just out of nowhere mm -hmm. so he's like okay it can't be that bad, but he's also just like, "There's something good." He he wants to know more, more not in a, I want to infiltrate what's going on. More in a, I just want to make sure the deals you're doing are good. <laughs> like I just want to make sure you're making good deals, and just to almost be like that, like administrative broker in like a stock exchange. <laughs> it's that like, I'll go through like guys. <laughs> You need to make these deals give, a bit give better. Give me your portfolio. So yeah, give me your portfolio. It. Let me just double check you. Uh, you know, give me give me the receipts for your transactions. Let me, and let me just yeah, let me just keep your books so you to make sure that you're uh, what like the soul you're trading off or whatever is or like the virgin blood or whatever it is you have to fucking give these people. <laughs> um, you know, is is fine. But like past that, I mean, Kess with her little fucking teleporting into a trinket thing he's just like that's kind of weird this guy is like that's that's more of an ex you know it hasn't negatively affected the party yet so yet <laughs> nah, you know there's a non there's a non zero percent chance it could um he he just thinks cool it's a quirk it's a quirky thing that she does i'm gonna give her a little jab about it every now and then and give her a little like oh okay but past that, if she wants to tell him, she'll tell him. But also, fuck it, it's not hurting him. He, you know, why why she poke his nose in other people's business that much? Only if it What's comes like. What's the pick for Lazarin again? A Lazarin is kind of true neutral. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. He's like, eh. he's ve he's very, like maybe more towards lawful neutral. If I really had to like stray away, it's like that kind of on the edge, but. Mm -hmm. If I really had to give him, like, it's true neutral. Like, he can go anyway. Like, he knows he can circumvent the law if needs to. He knows he can, like, be, as you've seen, very lawful and very good and be like, I got criminal. He also knows, like, sometimes you just exist and things will happen around you and you just have to accept that, move on. You know, it's like you don't, you don't stare at what's happening. Punches. Not even that. You just you walk past. You go, yep, this is not nothing to do with me. I didn't see what happened there. I'm not a witness. You can't blame me in any way. I'm just going to walk forward. Not my business. Yeah, not my business. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bell. Um, Same question goes to you. Well, obviously, I don't have the in-character knowledge to base any kind of theory off. Mm -hmm. But, like, out of character, I think... It's either like a he like a I need funds for where I came from type situation. Okay. Where he needs to find all these like really precious items so he can like sell them and get loads of money. Or they have some kind of magic use that he needs. Which is the theory that I go for most. I'm not sure how he would need them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My my guess is that it links back to where he came from somehow. Okay. Even if it's just like we settled on this land and the people who lived here before are trying to kick us out. Aztec burial ground. Aztec burial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what about in character? Like, what is what is like? Because Kes knows Davian is like, you know, 
looking for, yeah. it was like looking for this gemstone in in that yeah. place um he also knew the route wink or at least seemed to know the yeah. route was there yeah. yeah i i rolled for that as well to see if she would think that he was lying and just trying to seem like he knew where he was going or if he did actually know and was just pretending he didn't and it rolled so that she that it was the last one okay. so she figures he knew where he was going so interesting I think in character, Kess thinks he's gotten involved in some kind of native versus outsider clash and is trying to find a way to like ease the going so her so his um people can be safe, like from where he came from. Interesting. Like his parents. Interesting. Okay. Quaver. Hello. What is a Lazarus, you know? Thoughts. You on what Davin's go? Davin's yeah. fucking doing at the moment. He's keeping an eye. He's keeping mm. a little watchful eye. He he accepts that whatever it is, like with the talk that he had with Davian. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm going into details because fucking spoilers. But the talk with the talk he had, and kind of the talk we had as a party beforehand, he very much is like, okay. Follow it until it stops being viable or puts people in danger. That's kind of his view at the moment. He's like, okay, I'll keep an eye out on this and I'll keep an eye on what he's doing as much as I can. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, something he is confident in almost. He, there's a confidence there and he's like, okay, he must know what, like, he trusts him enough. He thinks what well, he must be, you know, evaluating the risks. Even if it's not true, he definitely airs that he's saying, okay, it must be worth to be going for this, and obviously isn't putting in us in any danger, or the greater continent in any danger. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't fully, because he doesn't know, he's just going to be, like, sidelining it. Uh, he, I know, it, it's just, uh, he, he's, un, he's uneasy about lots of because like, we've had a lot of talk about gods, and Elazarin had a very big, like, oh, you guys talk to deities <laughs> and like <laughs> which was i always say it's him questioning it's not not really an actual existential it's an existential crisis because he's accepted that that's how deities work is you don't get a response mm -hmm. so he in his head he thinks these people are the fucking lunatics <laughs> and like are in the wrong because he's like the fuck you? he's like that's cool like it's not like <laughs> like yeah that's cool really you do oh that you hear from them that must be like your deity thing magic's weird <laughs> you know like cool I don't, cause, cause I don't. Cool, whatever. Like, move on. It, it, it doesn't affect me in any way. So, okay. with everything, <clears throat> in my, yeah, with everything in mind, he's very. I again, he's just very, just gonna let it play out, and like intervene. Like he'll only intervene if he feels like he needs to, and like, like with everyone, he's kind of very much like I'm gonna wait to see how these people play out, and if it starts being like they start going fucking off the rails. I'm going to try and drag him back in and just kind of like find out, at least find out the reasons for why stuff is going on. And obviously if it fully goes against every, like as Asmund's like core beliefs, then yeah, he'll try and stop it. But for the most part, it seems pretty like, you know, pretty just benign and like not really going to affect anything. He's like, okay, maybe you shouldn't do it, but I'm not going to stop you. Because it's like not in my interest to like put up a barrier for you to now stop. Okay. I'm just gonna get in your way. But I know. There's a lot, lot of secret. These people, very fucking shady people. Very shady. This group. Yeah. And Lazarin included. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. It's okay. fun though. It's fun playing like a really sneaky, yeah. kind of shady character. After Octanus, who was like, ah, if you don't, if I don't like you, you're mm. gonna know about it. I'm probably not. I like, long. I like the posturing that happens in this group. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of people who think they're way more important than they are. Again, Elazen included. Absolutely, like, Elazen included. Like, there's a lot of posturing. A lot of like trying to find what just general like status everyone is. You know, kind of like what yeah, was like the general, dynamic like, rank almost. Yeah. Like who. Who is the highest nobility and who is like, who's the commoners? Who's the dead? You know, it's that the like peasants. Who's the peasants who are going of to run? No. A lesbian would put, think of it in that way. No, but not exactly like that. Obviously, it's more just the like, okay, who are the people that I can 
use to almost get it like to I could play off its nobility and if we need to like present ourselves as almost diplomats and who am I going to be like that's my bodyguard okay you know um, like... before we move on to the submitted viewer questions do you have any questions like to me about the campaign so far last session what ifs that sort of thing what if Serum wasn't super hot <laughs> 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 no Joke. comment. Damn it. God. What if we um, hadn't like accepted her traveling with us to go back to the city? Would she have like gone anyway? Um She would have probably gone back to her people her, her people. Uh and eventually realized that um, there's more for her to do. She's destined for more than the what happens in the proximity of her her tribe and her village. I would have eventually made her way to to the the, the settled world. Mm, held a bit of a grudge towards you for for not uh, you know have, you know helping her. Yeah, making way. it that but little bit easier. If, on that note, mm -hmm. I assume if we just ignored her when we first heard her, like, cries for help, mm -hmm. I, I assume that would have been, like, completely fucking cut off, like, as yeah, an she option. Would have, she would have died. She would have died. She yeah. Died out, so, but yeah, if we then, and stuff like this, so if we then, like, went to, the, I can never, I always get the fucking confused in my brain which order it is. I think it's, like, Sekhthar or Sethkar uh, is the friendly, Sethkar is the bad Sethkar, guys. yeah. If we went to, like, Sethkar, mm -hmm. would they then, like, mention they've got, like, a hunter missing? And then, like, um, or would it have been very... It would have been mentioned, but it would not have been like, oh, I need you guys to help find that person. Yeah, it would have just been, been like, like, yeah, uh, but, you know, say you would have asked for help. They would have been like, oh, yeah, we would have had someone escort you, but she's gone missing. But um, right. here's all the information you need. Good luck, kind of, kind of vibe. Yeah. Okay. That's very interesting. If you could have persuaded them, because obviously not having Siren with you would have made it a lot harder for you to be able to communicate with their leader. <laughs> but yeah. What if the party killed her? Soko, if the party would have killed her, I mean, who's gonna fucking tell? Right? No one knows anything in the jungle. Yeah, pretty much. Happens um, in the jungle, stays in the jungle. Exactly. Okay. We'll go to the uh, questions submitted uh, through Twitter and whatnot. I'm just going to go top to bottom. For both of you, how is your character taking to the adventuring life? What's their motivation to see it through? Uh, and how has the recent face-off with uh, a Hydra and the yuan -Ti leader affected their eagerness? Uh, eagerness submitted by... Uh, Duke of Banterbury, Sir Duke 33. We'll start with uh, with Belle. <clears throat> um, Kes is loving it. She's absolutely overjoyed with how it's going so far. This is the most like exciting it's been since she started traveling. Okay. So she's completely invested in just sticking with these people because far more entertaining stuff happens with them around, apparently. <laughs> On purpose or not, who knows? Um... And like, so like, Diagon going down wasn't really so much of a shock for her, but she was like, oh no, this is actually super dangerous. She was just like, ah, she's fine. <laughs> you go down sometimes, you, you come back up, everything's fine. Sure. Like, she's she's all right. She'll, she'll walk it off. It's still, uh, still kind of like, like that, like what we see with Kessel it's like a childlike, mm. everything will be okay. Uh, yeah. There's no way anything I'm bad would happen, right? I'm essentially invincible. There's no right? way nothing could, anything could kill me here. Okay. So that like whole like danger has not changed her like eagerness no, I, to find out all kinds of curiosities. It's kind of made her more eager. Okay. Especially with the, the group of people that she's traveling with now. Okay. Like she never thought she'd see anything as huge and like terrifying as that. Fair enough. Wait, but. Um, Alasson doesn't really see it as adventuring at the moment. He 
almost sees it as like a diplomat mission more than anything else he's trying to like relieve tensions in an area is kind of how his brain is going through like the danger stuff he's a bit like okay this is a bit above like the pay grade but almost in the you know it's gonna be worth it in the long run um felt fucking awful that people went down and he couldn't like help them properly and he was like right okay fuck i gotta buckle up my ideas a bit better but for the most part like he's almost more eager just to like make sure these people don't fucking kill themselves <laughs> and like fair, fair. <laughs> more than it's like okay you know we'll we'll do it like the money's still good and like it has seemed so far worthwhile to stick around with these people and like he wants to to stick about and you know go on more adventures and like learn who these people are like they are very interesting people mm -hmm. just in how they like their day-to-day -day lives and, like how they do shit is very interesting so he kind of wants to stick about for that but for the most part he's just kind of like okay i'm got like a mission that i'm now doing and i've now kind of help i'm helping out a, a, a city or a continent i'm helping out the people better than i could doing what i was doing I want to do more of like this, helping out these tensions and help out these people, rather than like I'm going to go on adventures. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> how do you or your characters or both feel about the first story arc so far as a whole? And do you have any plans slash hopes for the next few sessions? Submitted by Beanie. Um. Ethan. Um, Ethan. Same order? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, personally, I really enjoyed this first arc. Like, me and Koiba were talking about it the other day, like, after the session ended, that we were, were so much more invested in, like, the first few sessions than we were in, like, campaign one. Like, it's just, like, a completely different level. I don't know why. Maybe... I have no idea, but it's so much fun to just have, like, real threat again, mm -hmm. instead of being, like, so overly powerful that nothing can touch you, essentially. But... <laughs> I love saying so good, saying catch a soap True. Um, I mean, in character, because it's thriving in this environment. <laughs> just absolutely loving it. Feels like she's in a book or something. It's just like, yeah, this could be my life. Who knows for how long, but it can be a really good one. <laughs> okay. And what about like hopes or like what do you think your character is going to push for next? Because obviously each character has yeah. their own story arcs that they've kind of got plot hooks given to them for. Um, um Pushing forward. She she wants to stay with these people that that you found, like her and Daigon have found. Mm -hmm. um, not only because they're really interesting in and of themselves, just like they have lots of like interesting smaller things about them that she's never experienced, like mm -hmm. a Lazarin with the nobility. Um, she has no concept of that really, um, and is really interested mm -hmm. in just why he acts the way he does compared to everyone else because okay. he's a dickhead yeah <laughs> That's the um dickhead dickhead she she mostly wants to keep going on these like really high stake adventures and following through on um the things Elsinol told her um okay. and really like kind of going more into that than she thought she would when she first signed up um, what the fuck is that face, Koiba? <laughs> Secrets that I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Because okay, it's all me. about the story. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking loving it so far. I mean, God, it's it's so good. I like as as Soul Soko's been saying in the chat is that like we know each other more now and we kind of know what to expect. Whereas before campaign one, at least the early game, 
we're very much kind of feeling each other out as like people and seeing if is this something we want to continue on as a group rather than like yeah we would still do it but it was that like are we going to gel are we going to you know we were just ironing a lot of that shit out mm-hmm. um and then camera two we've kind of got this set we know what to expect from each other we know what like our barriers are now we kind of have all these like safeguards in place with each other that we're not we may not like inherently said but we we know each other just people we know like what everyone's comfortable with and what people aren't comfortable with and obviously it's us with dickheads and we'll, we'll push that line as fucking hard as we can mm-hmm. sometimes you know because it's us so we'll be like yeah, fuck yeah. Off. <laughs> but it's just yeah it's, it's really good like I, I fucking love it i just i love the dynamic you know i fucking hate these group of people but i love them so much <laughs> like all assholes but i love them um hope wise i mean Lazarin has a lot of stuff he wants to do in the city um he's just got some errands he just kind of wants to run um and and the likes he he's really interested in like showing siren around he's really interested in like getting that like relation of siren with 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 aldalon making that and kind of almost having this like you friend almost having someone who's on not like on the inside but having this like connection with someone who's a native he really like it's that you know trading stories especially when like she asked him about gods and stuff it's that like cool i want to learn the same thing like he is super kind of invested in kind of like this is good here i want to you know make a good impression for siren and also like i want to make sure like this hits the floor running and we can like get good stuff out of this because like he wants he's basically he's putting his money in and so like buying that stock early and trying to get in on it so when if it does prosper he can be like that was me guys i did this you know it's that it is that kind of almost selfish notion like but yeah he just he just he's got some stuff he wants to do he's got he got i've got a couple of uh a couple of little errands run i've got you know that orb thing to check out and i've got some bits and other bobs i need to message you about in in next couple of days okay um, and i mean you know yeah you also have that that plot hook regarding uh yeah some people yeah. that like to set things on fire if yeah. i yeah have that as well and like <clears throat> we'll ask more about that uh, i must say that's kind of part of the errands sort of like mm. city special of like i'm gonna catch up on everything <laughs> okay like gotcha 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 but he 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 doesn't have he's very more small scale he kind of doesn't look at big picture of i want to be adventuring to this he'd prefer lower stakes to be honest he's very much like <laughs> he doesn't mind the high stakes he likes that adrenaline rush but he's like i cannot live that life constantly at the moment like i need to ground myself i can't be dicking about adventuring i've got shit to do but okay he was still dick about <laughs> all right Question from Soko. Who was your uh, character's favorite and least favorite party member? And you're not allowed to pick the person from your session zero. Okay. Well, you go first. So far, I guess his favorite person. And I use that loosely. Like the person she hates the least. <laughs> is actually Brooks. She kind of finds him just totally fascinating. Whereas <laughs> the one she hates or dislikes the most um, is a Lazarus. <laughs> yes, I'm coming my love. It, it wasn't until he like came up and was like, Haha, I know about you going into your vessel. But she was like, okay, now oh, I'm kind of pissed. Dickhead. <laughs> like, a little bit angry. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> That's literally it. Fucking, fucking, Eleven doing that wasn't even him like being snarky or anything like that. It was just him being like, bannerish. It's like, oh, so it's just, you know, it's that like thing. And Kes fucking took it so like, you don't know what you're talking about. I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean it like that. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> like, I was just having a little. Whoa, joke. it was a joke. I was just having a, little, having a little bant and you fucking gone for my throat. Yeah, but she doesn't get banter. She's from a different place, dude. She doesn't understand yeah, that. Yeah, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> she has no concept of money. You think she has a concept of your weird fucking humor? <laughs> Not 
weird. Well, it's 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 a no, it's a noble joke. You wouldn't understand. It's yeah. Peasant. <laughs> 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 Stop the horse. All right, Kuba. Same question. Uh, least favorite. Ah, uh, fucking hell. I don't even know. Well, no, most favorites are hard. Like, there's not really many favorites. I think most favorites probably Daigon. Because <laughs> she doesn't fucking talk. <laughs> and, and, like, in at least in Eladrin's mind, is very, like, very, like, direct. And, like, she is about one thing. Mm -hmm. And, like, obviously, because he doesn't have a, hadn't had a proper conversation, but it's that, like, you know, you know what you're gonna get with him, Daigon, and he like he respects that a lot. He's like, fair enough, you know. He 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 takes that, and he's like, cool. Um, and kind of like, I think that's where a lot of a lot of he's almost. I don't know. I don't know who he hates. Like, he fucking hates Brooks, but not in yeah. like it actually hates. He doesn't actually like, hate Brooks, but he's just like, this guy's a dickhead. This guy, he's like, this guy is just a dick. <laughs> Like, yeah, even fair. though even though he hasn't done much dickish things, just how he presents himself and how he is, he's like, that's kind of fucking dick. Well, <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny, right? Because as far as um, being a dickhead, I feel like Elasra and Brooks are equally yeah, pretent that's... pretentious as fuck. Well, that's the yeah. thing. It's the person yeah. you hate the most is the person who's most like you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, uh, that's funny. Also, like... I don't think Brooks is pretentious. Oh, Elijah yeah. definitely is. But he's... No, he's more just like... Just kind of swaggers about... Like, he kind of is almost that, like... King of the Undercity, you know what I mean? Like, he, he thinks he's the fucking dog's bollocks. And it's just like... Alright, calm down, mate. But... What's the opposite of King of the Hill? You know? Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's like, he's King of Shit Mountain. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> great, like, good for you, but... If he doesn't like, he doesn't hate anyone. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's like fuck you do at one. He's like, you're being a like stop being a prick. Like you just have to stop being, being a, a dickhead, dickhead for once, please. Just stop once, please. Whereas like, like Kes only <laughs> likes him because she's noticed so many like idiosyncrasies where he'll do one thing and then do something completely Kes, different and doesn't make sense. Kes he finds interesting and but also like that that like kind of snap at him. He's like, okay, you're fucking. You can get off your fucking high horse as well. Right, that's near you. You're not nearly as complicated or as, like, important as you think you are. Because, <laughs> like, Elasran has dealt with nobles, where, like, the entirety of nobility is pretending you're way more than you are and that you're a complicated mm -hmm. person. So he sees, like, right... He, like, he thinks he sees through, right, through that bullshit. Even if it's true or not, he's like, you're fucking faking. Like, yeah. he just thinks no everyone's one is really fake. Complicated. Well, yeah, he's like, no one's complicated. You're all fucking, like simple people with like you have you have a goal say you're all simps for, for a second there no, like, Jesus. no you're all like simple people and you're just kind of like whatever right but just because he's so used to having to deal with bullshit that he's like yeah, whatever like i don't know it's 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 a it's a strange one to ask because i don't like i just doesn't hate anyone and he doesn't like you know love anyone either he's mm -hmm. not like oh these are great he's just kind of like okay I mean, the yes. only reason, like, Kes doesn't like Lazarin mm. is that <laughs> he, he's, he seems really, like, put on, like, making sure she knows that he knows more about her <laughs> than she thinks. Yeah. And she's like, shut up. You don't know me. Shut up. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah, but, like, Lazarin, but Lazarin thinks he's got you fucking figured out. <laughs> yeah, basically. The answer is like, I know your little secret. I know, like, I know everything. What the, I know that this facade bullshit you've got going on, or whatever. Like, this, this fucking isn't like anything like you in yeah, real life. This little act you're putting on, where you think you're like really tough and all that. That can fuck off. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I know the real you. Yeah, like, Lazarus knows you... one detail and thinks yeah. he yeah. knows everything now. He's like, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. like that with everyone. I figured He's it like... out. I it's not even the dots. It's not you even like, connect shit. I connected them. It's not even like connected like dots. Me. He's just like he's found this thing. He's like, okay, this make. In his head, he's like, this makes sense as to why you act the way you are. I fucking got you. like, but it's not even like I got you. It's that like, okay. Now Could I know. It, why fucking like? Why is it a big secret? That, that's I think that's what his brain is going through. It's like, well, why is it a secret? Mm -hmm. And he's not going to push it. He's never going to ask. He's not going to be like, 
what the fuck are you doing? Because he'll be like, if, you, if it was important, you tell us. But he's also like, but why are you keeping it secret? It's that like, why is it, why, why is it important? <laughs> in his brain, it's like, why is it a big deal? Who fucking yeah. cares? Yeah, you, you do something for safety or whatever. He's like, a big fucking whoop. Like, that's mm-hmm. where his main, like, go of yourself is. Because it's like, who, who will care? Well, how, this doesn't affect anyone, you know? As far as he's aware. Mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand it. So he's just like, eh. Yeah. Fucking. Fair enough. Well. All right. I think it's time for uh, some trivia. Oh, so what nice. I want you to do. Let me get some paper. Is write something down or open up a fucking document, whatever the fuck it is. I'm going to ask you seven questions. You're going to answer them, write your answers down. You're going to send both your answer sheets to me, and then we'll run through them. And we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, I'm gonna you are not allowed to look at your notes that you've made. Yeah. Yep. God, this is purely yeah. off the dome. Let me let me just get WordPad open. Hang on. It's all good. Yes. Let me know when you're <laughs> both ready. Word pad. Yeah, because I don't have Word. Google Docs, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Whoa! Alright. <clears throat> you guys ready? Okay. okay. What color is the dragon claw depicted on the Kaldalar's Hunter's banner? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Break. What a fucking question. It came up this campaign and definitely came up this campaign as well. I know it has, but I'm, I don't give a shit about the Kaldalar Hunters. I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like That's them. That's what trivia is, man. Trivia is like deep, like just minor details. Like, oh, yeah, I know. That I know. place you visited, you know, who is his daddy and what does he do? Um, yeah, exactly. Question number two. Name two gods that had carts dedicated to them during the festival parade. Uh, there were five, five total. Um, oh, I can't think how to spell the fucking name. What was his name? I mean, spelling Shit. doesn't matter, as long as I understand what you're trying to say, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. What was his um, name? Again. Is it like that? I can see it in my head and I can't remember it. That god? Am I making that up? Is that something I just read? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Fuck <laughs> it. I'm gonna I mean, put, there were, I'm gonna there put. There were five. Well, there were technically four cards, but there were five gods depicted. No, that's not right. Uh... No. <laughs> uh, fuck was what? What's the note I want to write? So you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ten more seconds. Oh fuck! There you go. Fuck it. I'll do. <laughs> the the last the last bit is really gonna dock me some points here, boys. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it for that one. All right, time. <laughs> yep. What color tiefling is pleasure? Oh, I should know this. I fucking slept with them. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no idea. No shot. God, you're gonna be horrible. Um. Yeah. How many heads did the Hydra manage to get in total? I remember that. Mm. Wait, what were you saying in total? Like, <laughs> his max amount of heads at one point in time. At one point, okay. Not yeah. like, died and then killed. Like, no. I'm not having to add some with bullshit. Max okay. amount of alive heads at one point okay. in time. Okay. Okay. What is the name of the Yuan Ti tribe leader in Seth Khan? I fucking know this. It's like, um... Oh, I fucking know this! <laughs> oh, I, I looked at it the other day! I wrote well. it down like twice, I asked for the spelling! Ah! Oh! You sure did. One of the fucking... F- it's one of the three names. <laughs> and it's not the two that I know. <laughs> <laughs> there, two there are three names. I know two of them. Uh, Neither of those are it. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, it's like. Oh. Fucking, I have got no fucking idea, man. There we go. If that's a name, it's not at all. <laughs> Maybe. Is it a name? Who oh. knows? Mm. Answer's written down. Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. What um, race is the owner of the Friendly Giant Tavern? Um.
don't think that's right. I put that, I think that's right. A friendly giant, let me think. Fuck. Oh my god, I can't actually count. Don't overthink this one. I'm not. That's the problem. Is I went with a gut answer. You're not even thinking. <laughs> no, straight away I had an answer in my brain because I thought that was what it is. And I'm just like, it's not right. Alright. Final question. Mm -hmm. This is a bit of a stinker. You can't go. Yeah, because the rest haven't been. <laughs> what is the title and name oh. of the owner of the Imperial Trade Company? Stop. Oh. Fuck you. Oh, 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 I fucking, oh, I know it. <laughs> I need title and name. Oh, name, that's fucked. I oh, title. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I don't title. Oh, it's like <clears> the, <throat> oh, what is it? Oh, this is the worst. Oh, it's Fuck so you, funny. man. It's like... <laughs> I know I've written all of these down as well, but yeah, in my notes. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's not even that. I'm, I'm, oh, fuck, I'm making something up. Okay. <laughs> With that, that is seven questions asked. You have seven answers written down. Yeah. I need you to no. send me your answer sheets. We'll take a picture of it and send me it. And we're going to go through them. We're going to see, we're going to see <sighs> well, how you've done. Shit. Is the answer difficulty wise? The questions were on par with the previous trivia uh, I give a quizzes. Fuck I fuck what they are. <laughs> Just uh, uh, DM them to me. Okay. Where the fuck is that Dutch geek? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> if I get any of these right, it's if a I get, miracle. If I get one right, I'll be so happy. <laughs> I'm aiming for one. Okay. I only want one. <laughs> I only want one. Are these questions sound so much harder than the others? They're really not. I really not. Wait, Bell, they you send me it? feel harder. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. Mm, there we go. It's gone through. <laughs> All Most right. of the ones I have like three like half answers. What color? Yes, it's a dragon claw depicted on the Calvados Hunter's banner. Blue? It's white. Ah shit. White. Koiba wrote down gold. Bell wrote down blue. Mm -hmm. Both incorrect. Fuck, it's white. She name two gods. <laughs> that had carts dedicated to them during a festival parade. I knew one of them. <laughs> I know one of them too, and I think it's the same one. You know <laughs> the answers... Okay, Belle, what did you write? What, what was your answer? I wrote Joaquin, but I don't know how to spell it, so I spelled it W-A-K-E-E-N. That's how you spell it. That's, that's... Is it? Oh, oh, it's A-U. No, it's A-U-K. W-A-U. Okay, that's close, close enough. enough. That's close enough, close enough. I... Okay. <laughs> uh, what, what else did you write down? Or did you only name one god? I so. had another one, but I couldn't remember his name, so I put him down as like the platinum dragon god who I'm was gonna, important gonna, in Campion I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept no. that. Oh, so that was, was, like, that was, one was the um, What was his name? There's Chromatis and there's Bahamas. Oh, Bahamas. That, that was, was it! Kiss the fucking platinum bro oh, how did I forget that? I put like Eros down, but the I knew that wasn't his fucking... brothers, brothers they yeah. called. Fuck no. Okay, so I Bell, that unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to count this one, because you only got one correct, so no point. I put Joaquin. And I put like Eros down, but I know that's not a fucking name of the god. Is it? It's the fucking. It's the main guy. It's what, the main what, fucking. What is your? What, what, what answer did you submit? I put Eros. I wrote Eros down. And I was like the fucking stag man. Yeah. And. Is that it? And. And Joaquin. Yeah, that's correct. It's two answers. Eros, yes. <laughs> Joaquin, Melora, Chromatis, oh. and Bahamut. Fucking got so one. correct. Koiba with one ba, point. Ba, 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 what ba, color teeth? Is pleasure. Fucking hope to God it's pink. <laughs> no? I put red. Both are wrong. It was purple. purple. I knew it! Lavender tea thing, right? Is it lavender? Yeah, purple. Lavender. Yeah. Oh, fucker. Okay. No, I had pink in red. I did lavender tea thing. We're doing ah. great. How many heads did the Hydra in the boss fight get total at one point in time? What was like the max yeah, amount of six, heads it had? It? Six, right? Because start with five. Six. six. Correct. Yeah. Shit. Hell yeah, with two points, one. Bell with nothing. No. What would you put? I put five. five Cause Start I thought we five. cut one off. Yeah. Start on five. Super back. What is the name of the Yuanti tribe leader in Seth Ka? Ah, oh, fuck that, I don't know. I wrote some bullshit. I put down a K, cause I thought it started with K, but I'm I pretty sure I I was like, Rissen. 
Fuck it. No. Is it Rithkiss or something like that? No. Nuxa. <gasps> Rixal was the bad guy. Rixal That's was the it. other guy, yeah. That's why I had that in my head. It's not looking good, boys. <laughs> I've got two. I didn't fucking bet them bell. That's true. What? Um, what race Listen. is the owner of the Friendly Giant Tavern? Maybe he's a, half Maybe he's a halfling. <laughs> no. The Friendly Giant Tavern's oh, owner it's a giant. is a Goliath. It's a Goliath. That's that what I was saying. Sense. You're overthinking it. Like, the answer is in the yeah. name. God damn it. Goliath. I got none of these. I got no, yeah. no answers. <laughs> I have none. Bell. I, I'm surprised that you I'm didn't not. get a single one. That's... Listen, I can't do I can't do this without my notes. What is the name yeah, exactly. of the title of the owner of the trade company? It oh, it's like a made something. Uh, fucking... That's what I mean. Magnum Opus <laughs> <laughs> fucking know. Something like that, right? Primus Dalashtari. That's oh, it. Primus. Man, so we have Kobe with two points, Bell with zero. <laughs> I knew hey, I was going to be bad at this because I hey, use Belle. my notes for everything. Hey, Bell, we're keeping up the rear perfectly. Yeah! That's true. So, Koiba did win this little one on one showdown, but overall, the leaderboard so far Laura and Duke tied for first place with five points. Then we have Ethan with four, Koiba with two, Bell with zero. So now we just have to see what, how Soko does, and then like our first like little mini competition Brown. of trivia has uh, be shit. come to a close. I'll be mad. But you guys going to get one right. or seven, right? Man. You can't get one. Yeah. No I expected Belle to be like this fucking like little nerd. No, like, like, I don't have a good memory. I, that's why I write everything that's down. That's true. <laughs> and I, I always you have. You got a good excuse though. I, I do. I'm a, mor I'm a morphine half the time, dude. <laughs> you know, like, I have a good excuse too. Now I'm it's CBD idiot. oil. <laughs> um, I think next up, once we've done so a trivia night with Soko, we'll do some like Jeopardy type uh, shit. Jeopardy. Ooh, there we go. It's gonna be a fun one. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I think, I think, with that said, we hit about the hour mark, just about. Um, mm -hmm. Unless there's any more questions from chat. I saw a really important question guys. on Twitter, actually, that I want to ask. I saw a really important question on Twitter, actually. Oh, what? Uh, needs to be asked. Okay. Let me quickly, let me, let me find it. Fuck, where the fuck was the tweet about? Here we go. No, that's not it. Fuck, where was it? Oh, was the one about Charlie asking Belle to cook her dinner for once? Yeah. Of course yeah. it is. Of course it is. The answer is because she's a pussy and that's it. Okay, thank you. That's you not up. In there. You enough, have a cold. Um, now let me shut up. Next session, you know, I tend to I tend to kind of close out these Dungeoness courses with a bit of a with a bit of a, a little tease of what's to come. Mm -hmm. I think next session is gonna be a lot more chill. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be traveling back, uh, making some pit stops back in New Diarmouth and in uh, Southwold, since those are uh, on the way back to Eldilon. You're going to get to know Siren a little better. She's traveling with you. Yeah, for her. Um, you are... Um, it's just going to be a good old travel session with a lot of space Yay. for characters to get to know each other better. Starting to figure out, okay, we're going to pick up a reward in Eldilon. What's next? Um, it's going to be very chill. It's going to be relaxed chill session and i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to because next week so, or so sunday soko will be here so we'll be complete all six of us will be here to have another finally you know, to have another the band is back um you know kind of like character bonding slash getting to know each other like uh session with every player present because the last one we did we had where this kind of happened uh both laura and soko were absent which uh was a shame because so they didn't really get to yeah partake so to say that's gonna be good plus you're gonna get to know um siren you know what makes her tick uh if you play her cards right you know maybe she'll open up a bit about her past and her uh her stuff she'll open up uh <laughs> so cool if you dare um i will kill you just to let you know if you try to fuck siren Kweba, i will make you describe into great detail <laughs> what Elazrim does. Paint the picture for that, the class. That, uh, <laughs> that, that, um, it's one of my boundaries. Uh, uh so, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so, shit. I like, I like, I like oh to, for it to fade to black. So, uh, yeah. no. <laughs> <clears throat> nah, um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun session of just character development and party bonding. 
and I'm looking forward to it. With that said, thank you so much for watching Donnie Discourse. Bell, Quibs, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Thanks for hosting. Uh, we'll be back on, on Sunday. This will be up on YouTube mm -hmm. on Saturday. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Check us out on the various podcast platforms uh, that we're on. Check us out. I'm going to make a panel somewhere in the next couple of days that like lists all the platforms just uh, like down below where you can listen to us in podcast form. Um, uh, and more DVD on Saturday. Do. That is true. Yeah, Tasha's kiss. Oh Saturday. yeah, Tasha's kiss. That is very true. Yay! The return of what? Huh? Mm -hmm. I gotta. Mm -hmm. I gotta uh, do yeah, I will be there, but uh, it'll be like pretty pretty gnarly audio, but uh, it'll it'll have to do. But uh, it'll work. It'll work out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for uh, for hanging. Thanks for vibing. Catch you later. Have a good rest of your week. See you Saturday. Bye. Natasha's kiss. Bye. Bye-bye.